So you've probably heard a colleague or two talk about tail insurance. What exactly is it and how much does it cost? Is it something you really need to be concerned with? In today's episode, we're diving into tail insurance in a bit more detail. We'll go over what it is, what factors go into the cost of tail insurance, and what you need to know before you buy it. Plus, we have a cheat sheet for you today to walk away with, so please stay tuned. Welcome to Malpractice Insights, the show dedicated to helping healthcare professionals understand medical malpractice insurance and providing you with the solutions you need so that you can get back to the work of practicing good medicine. My name is Jennifer Wiggins, CEO of Aegis Malpractice Solutions, and I'm so glad you've joined us today. All right, let's jump in. So what is this elusive tail insurance? Well, tail insurance is an extension of your policy that is required upon cancellation when you have claims made coverage. Your tail starts at your cancellation date, and then it extends your protection into the future for any claims that may be made against you for the patients that you treated while you were working. If you have an occurrence policy, you don't need a tail. We have several previous episodes on tail insurance and the difference between claims made and occurrence coverage, so we will link those shows for you here on the screen, and we'll also put them in the show notes. I'd encourage you to check those out if you haven't already. If you don't buy your tail after you cancel your claims made policy, then you are essentially uninsured. If a claim comes in and there is no active policy in place, there is no protection, even if the event occurred when your policy was active in the past. So as you can see, it's incredibly important for doctors to take care of this, but tail insurance can be very expensive. So how much does tail insurance cost? Tail insurance typically costs one and a half to two times the mature claims made premium. So if your premium was $10,000 a year, you can expect your tail to be around $15,000 to $20,000. There are a variety of factors that can impact the amount of your premium. First, it depends if the tail is limited or unlimited. An unlimited tail is the most robust and comprehensive kind of coverage. It does not have an expiration date, so the tail covers you indefinitely into the future. It even extends coverage to your estate in the event that a doctor is sued but passes away before the case is resolved. Most tail quotes are issued as unlimited tails, so it is the standard option that is offered to healthcare providers. But if you don't want or need an unlimited tail, then you can purchase a limited tail, which provides protection for a shortened amount of time. The most common limited tails are one-year tails, two-year tails, five or even 10-year tails. With a limited tail, the protection ends at the end of the term. So if a claim were to be filed beyond that time frame, there would no longer be coverage. Limited tails are less expensive than unlimited tails. The second factor that can impact the cost of your tail is how long you've been insured. Your claims made insurance policy will have a retroactive date listed on it. This retro date is the date that your policy covers you back to. It's often the inception date of your practice or when you first started working. Just like a claims made policy premium starts low and increases every year until it reaches the mature price, the tail is also discounted in these early years before a policy reaches its maturity. So if you've only had the policy for two years, your tail will be discounted at the relevant rate for only having had two years of exposure to cover. The longer you have the policy, the higher the rate will be but it is capped once it reaches the mature price, which is usually after five years of coverage. The third factor that can impact the cost of your tail is the policy limits that you carry. Your tail policy will be quoted at the same limit as your claims made insurance policy, unless you request otherwise. Most carriers will let you reduce your tail limit, which would save you a bit of money, but it's generally not advisable to do so. 
Why? Because your tail insurance covers you all the way back to your retroactive date. And if you lower your limits, you're lowering your amount of coverage for any potential claims for patients you treated all the way back to that original start date. If you want to increase your limits for tail, unfortunately, most carriers will say no. And here's why. If you've carried 1 million, 3 million limits for your entire career and paid premiums for that amount of coverage, the insurance company is not going to let you jack up your limits to 3 million, 5 million or 5 million, 10 million for your tail. They just haven't collected enough premium from you over the years to account for all of that additional exposure. If your policy limits fluctuated during the lifetime of your claims made policy, generally the carrier will only let you obtain a tail policy at the highest limit you held within the last five years of insurance. The fourth factor that can impact the cost of your tail is how many hours you've been working. Most carriers will offer a discounted tail rate for doctors that are working part-time. Now, you can't just drop to part-time right before you cancel to get a lower rate. You will have had to have been part-time for a few years prior before they'll offer you this credit. But it does help to keep your cost down and should be noted when you request your tail quote. Buying tail coverage is a one-time purchase and payment is usually required promptly after your policy cancels. Most tail quotes are only good for 30 to 60 days, and once the quote expires, you cannot have it reissued. It's important that you plan ahead for the purchase of your tail insurance and begin considering outside finance options if necessary. If you miss out on the opportunity to buy your tail, talk to your agent about other options. It may be possible for you to get coverage from the secondary market but understand that coverage will likely be limited and the price will probably be much higher if it's available at all. If the insurance carrier that you work with does not offer payment plan options, you can secure your own outside financing or talk to your agent to see if there are finance plans that they are able to offer you to ease the burden of payments. Also keep in mind that you can shop around for tail options, so you're not necessarily locked into buying tail from your current carrier. For a free summary of this information and answers to all of these frequently asked questions on tail coverage, check out the show notes for a link to the download. If you have any questions on this topic or you want to make sure that you're covered appropriately, click the link in the description box below where you can connect with us via phone, email, or chat today. And if you're listening, please visit us online at aegismalpractice.com. That's A-E-G-I-S malpractice.com. And don't forget to give us a like and please leave a review. Your feedback and support helps us to reach more people. And we're grateful for your clicks and your kind words. This is Jennifer Wiggins. Thanks for joining us.